Greetings, Skill and Carney bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back as we look at another indie game. This time we're checking out Beer Factory. This game was developed by Creative Forge Games who worked on the excellent Wild West themed RPG Hard West and is published by my friends at Playway SA, the masters of simulation games. Beer Factory has you managing your very own alcohol empire. We're going to learn everything there is to know about the production of the Amber Brew. From preparing the raw product, to processing, bottling and distribution, we're going to do it all. Now I've been playing a lot of this game, and I wanted to show you my own factory as well as give you some tips to become a master brewer yourself. Well, let's check out Beer Factory. Welcome to my Beer Factory. Here is where all the magic happens and we have but one mission statement. To produce more beer than I can drink. A mighty task indeed. Now this factory has been hard at work to produce tons and tons of the amber brew and as you can see I have several upgrades to make my life a bit easier. We've definitely progressed into the mid game and I thought that uh, we may go on a bit of a tour. So let me hop in my humble steed. We'll get, first thing we're going to do though, is we're going to get myself a coffee. Beautiful. And then we're going to go to my computer. And we can see here, my goal today is to get this brewery going. So we have a number of different products that we're going to we're going to start with but I have a new brand of beer which has been selling like hotcakes break yourself is the is the the new wave of quality beer and we're going to create 450 liters of this quality brew we're going to need 90 malt 16 hops 12 yeast and a ton of water so now we're getting the tank filled full of water and i'm going to show you the brewery downstairs we're going to have an employee working around the clock on this and we're going to we're going to go and help him soon try and speed things up a bit so let's go and do the grand tour first thing i'm going to do those pay my employee wages and we're going to set up a delivery i'm going to need a ton malt okay so while that malt comes on its way let's go take the tour shall we so at the front here is the loading bay where we get our deliveries and we also make our deliveries to our customers via our trusty ute or pickup truck for those in the united states we have our office here this is where we do our logistics and our purchasing and our selling. In the factory, we have our maintenance bay where we do our construction and maintenance. I have a few spare bits and bobs as well as some, some pallets which are kind of quickly stacking up as you can see. I'm probably going to have to do a clean up at some point. Uh, that's, that's my pallet pile there. Over here we have our grain machine and this is where we crush the, the malt from raw malt down into the processed malt. You can see I've got a couple of spare pallets of that on the right. We're going to be taking those downstairs to the brewery. Oop, the, the game is chugging a bit. There is some there is a couple of issues with the game which we'll we'll go into some more detail later. Over here is our bottling plant. And at the moment this guy doesn't have anything to do because we don't have any bottles, but have a look at all that delicious beer. We're actually going to, I'm actually just going to take that. Let's go and clear this out. I'm going to take this beer. This is the last batch I made. And we're going to take it over to our second last stop, which is the logistics bay which is where we do our deliveries. So 
We're going to need a fair bit of this stuff, though. So let's get fully loaded. Beautiful. Now, I currently have four employees, one person manning the bottling plant, two people manning the crushing machine, and one person managing the downstairs brewery. Now, I can probably eventually, once I get some more money under my belt, remove some of those employees and automate more of my operation. At the moment, the only person... Oh, we've encountered one of the game's bugs sometimes. So you can see I'm well clear of the ground now. I shouldn't be... There we go. Sometimes you have to brute force. We we'll take this into the distribution bay. So this will probably be a good time to talk about some of the issues in the game. So the main problem at the moment is with the vehicle handling and the clipping. Now you will find sometimes find that you catch on various surfaces with the forklift. And sometimes the forklift will also flip over and you do have to reset the forklift positioning. Thankfully the developers know this is an issue and most of the vehicles in the game can be respawned. Of course this isn't an ideal situation, I'd rather they fix it, but uh, for the large part the only thing you really have to worry about is a losing product. So occasionally stuff will fall off the pallets, you will lose some bits and pieces from here and there, so you do need to make sure you keep some spare product around. You may think I, I overdid things with, you can see I've got all this stuff lying around, but let me tell you you want to have a steady supply of stuff going in and out of this factory. So um, this guy, he's going a bit slow, so let's maybe give him a hand. Beautiful. So we've got some pallets here. Let's, um, let's give him a hand, because he's going to take forever. 90, 90 of these things is going to take him an eternity, so... You can see I've already got some, I kept some products up here from my last drop. I'm going to clear this pallet and then we're going to replace it because uh, 90 bags of this means four pallets. So we need to crush four pallets worth of, um, worth of malt. So this brewery machine, um, I purchased it. Uh, that's why I'm broke at the moment. I had almost $20,000. There is approximately... Uh, approximately 20 grand worth of product here, including all of the pallets of stuff. Um, this is a, a very well kitted out uh, operation, as you can see. Very professional, very professional. And speaking of professional, we now have our local homeless man who's come to make my life a bit of a, a nightmare. And he's going to wreck stuff upstairs. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to very quickly drop this off. And hopefully our friend will continue to... There we go. That will be enough product for him to do what he needs to do. So let's get back upstairs. Before this... Uh, delightful homeless man turns my... Beer factory into a, um, into a cesspool. I mean, I've got plenty of work to do. You could just work and get some free beer, but... No. Now, of course, when you do have a homeless problem, uh, you, you have one option, which is to grab the nearest bag of rubbish and to randomly begin hurling it like a projectile at him. I am, of course, joking. I mean, I don't know why this guy's homeless. He seems to have some Naruto-like ninja skills. I feel like he's he's underutilizing his skill set, invading beer factories. I mean, I like a I like a beer as much as the next guy, but he's a slippery customer. Now, if you leave him, he will actually continually throw rubbish around and mess your place up. And teleport around. You homeless individual.
What is a guy made out of? Oh. There we go. Now, it's one thing that I've learned from this game is that um, homeless people seem to have ninja skills. This guy's got some shadow clone jutsu. Oh, and our truck, uh, the truck seems to have found itself stuck. Okay, so hopefully that will... Is it moving? It is very slowly moving. Which uh, could be a problem if he can't move into position, but... I've got enough materials to keep us going for now, so... I'm going to take this downstairs. Oh, oh, it did. No, it's okay. I just saw the truck move. Excellent. Beautiful. It's, it's gotten unstuck. So the truck has got a ton of yeast for us. Sorry, not yeast. A ton of hops. Yes, I know. I'm coming. Now, dance downstairs is uh, very quickly loading the the product, the malt. But we're going to need more. We're going to need a lot of crushed malt. And what I can do is, if I've got any leftover crushed malt, I can also sell that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop over here. And we've kind of gone out of order because this this is usually the first thing you do in the game. You you learn to process malt in the malt crusher and you sell the crushed malt. Uh, I'm at the stage where I'm actually using that to make the beer because it is far more profitable to make beer than what it is to, to produce malt. Because basically what's happening is I'm crushing this malt and then I'm just on selling it to another brewery where they turn it into beer and they're making the profit. So I want to make the profit. I want to have the money myself. We'll move this out of the way this time so the truck doesn't get stuck. Let's go and take this. Now, probably want to order some more. Um, I need probably some hops. And oh, we've got some stuff in transit, have we? Yeah. That's okay. I don't want to I don't want to overdo it. Wait for the truck to come. So this is, this is the raw hops, and we're going to turn this into the processed hops over here. Now, I've got some already. Here's some I prepared earlier. Let's go and add to our pile of pallets. It would be good to sell these. Now, they're, they're not worth a lot of money, but, I mean, I can't really do anything with all these, these pallets. I, I, I was buying them at the start of the game. Now I've got more than I can use. Okay. So what we do, each of these pallet bays are configured so that uh, when I place a raw uh, raw product in it, uh, the guy is going to take that product and he's going to put it in the, in the uh, machine and it's going to be processed into crushed hops, which is what we are going to put into the brewery. Now we're going to need a whopping, whoop, game's slowing down a little bit again. We need a whopping 90 bags of this stuff and as you can see, We've got a bit of a collection of uh, crushed hops. Um, now the output in the game, you can use conveyor belts and so forth. I haven't played around with these yet. I probably should have. So I, I had a look at some other people playing later on in the campaign and you can actually set up conveyor belts and the conveyor belts can go to multiple outputs. So. That, that would solve my problem of only having a few inputs and a few outputs. I could, I could get up multiple, uh, multiple inputs and multiple outputs and basically set it up so that I've got uh, half a factory of products ready to go. So we're, we're going to have a bit of a play around with that. 
Maybe not in this episode, but certainly in a future one. There we go. But, yeah, the, the, the thing is that you, you basically, in the early game, you feel a lot like a... You, you're, you're learning the ins and outs of the brewing business, but once you automate everything, uh, the only thing you can't automate is the, is the logistics of driving around. Uh, all of that is, unfortunately, something you need to do yourself. So if I had to... Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see the developer... Uh, set up a way to, to automate this, because driving around a forklift, as fun as it is, it's only really part of the experience. So I want to get into the process of brewing the beer. But uh, if you want to have any chance of making a profit, you best learn to, um, yeah, to get these, get these uh, pallets going all the time and learn to drive <laughs> learn to use this this machine and of course uh, use what I like to call the Hoover maneuver oh, let's get rid of this pallet stuck on there oh. now the Hoover maneuver is where I get a pallet and I just uh, fly into what I need because when there's a product close by, it will you'll automatically pick it all up, like so. And I, the developers obviously not done it for this reason. They've done it so that uh, it, it solves a problem with um, with uh, bags getting lost and uh, a, a quick way for you to be able to move your product. But unfortunately, what it also does do is it allows you to exploit it, like I did. I just um, I just got my forklift and ran full speed into the into the product with the with the pallet equipped and boom, it just hoovers everything onto the pallet. Um, the other problem too is I've got... Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a lot of products here. We're kind of um, overdoing it. Now, the, the other thing too is uh, if I end up producing more than I can use, I can on-sell this. So I can sell the raw grain and I probably will. Because, I mean, look how many pallets of this stuff I've got. It's actually starting to take up a room in the in the brewery. I'm going to probably need some yeast. Let's head back downstairs because he's probably... Oh, man, the game's really chugging now. Yeah, this is the main issue with the game is the performance at the moment. It's very, very slow. And I've seen other YouTubers who've been playing this game who've enjoyed it just as much as me. Um, have found that you know they've got um, you know Radeon 9800s. They've got processors far far greater than mine. I mean, I can I, a computer like this that can run seven days to die in max settings. I can play. Um, I, I I did a playthrough of Japan. So the the problem isn't my computer. I think it's just that this game needs a bit of optimization. So hopefully that's something the developer will do. Oh, we can see the yeah, he's getting low already. Let's go and chuck this over here. Well, then I came down when I did. Let's drop this down here. Now, obviously, I'd like to give him a hand, but let's see how many bags he's got left because this is going to take sixty-four of ninety. Okay, yeah, he needs he needs some help. Let's get this. Let's get this done. Well, what pallet are you taking from? Okay. Let's take empty this pallet. Because so I can I can refill this. Okay. Beautiful. Let's get this over here. Okay. Because we've got uh, 13 bags or more of malt it's going to take so i'm just going to help him out this is a, it's a it's a bit of a slow process but i need um i need this done we need another batch ready to go i'd like to show you the bottling process 74 of 90 man this is we're getting there 16 bags left
I am making 400 litres of beer though, so to be fair, we're looking at probably a good a good thousand bottles worth. Uh, once this is done, I'm probably looking at a cool seven or eight thousand dollars at least in profit. Um, and whoa, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, this game it does need a lot of work in in the performance wise. Very, very slow. Okay, we've got to be getting near. 84, 6 left. Yeah, unfortunately, this is something that uh, it would be nice to assign employees to more than one, too. Like, if I could buy a second tank and get like him when he's done to work on the second one. Yeah, I'm going to need more crushed malt. Going to need a lot more. We've got enough for this batch, though. There we go, beautiful. So this is going to brew for five minutes. So we'll, we'll come back. Okay. That is a lot of pellets. Unfortunately, pellets cannot, um, like, uh, you can't get multiple pellets on your forklift, which I really, I'd love to do. Like to be able to like hoover up. I mean, you can hoover up everything else in this game. Why can't I pick up pellets? I feel like you should be able to bind them together. It's just a bit, a little bit of string and boom. Let's see if I can at least take a pallet with me. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Okay, let's go. And we'll take a pallet up with us at least. We still haven't ran out of stamina. Spence, yeah, you, you, you need to worry about that because it's very, very easy to run out of fuel. go get a I ran out of fuel at the furthest possible point from the propane tank okay the trucks no it's okay we've got everything okay so we've got five minutes before the before the next phase And I'm going to go and see if I've got enough, because it would be a bit silly if we wait the five minutes and go and do other stuff, and then we find we don't have enough malt. So let's go and refuel. So we need um, 16 hops. Yeah, there's, what, tw uh, 6, 12. Oh, yeah, we, let's, oh, yeah, there's more over here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. we got plenty. Okay. So I might, um, I might go and get some bottles because I think that's the next thing we're going to need. We've got enough for this batch of um, beer, but we're going to need, um, we're going to need about a thousand bottles to bottle all of it, and that's going to be a lot of, um, a lot of fairing. So let's go and, whoa. Yeah, we're good for crushed, crushed malt. We're good for hops. We're good for yeast. Uh, it's bottles now. Um, you guys, whoop. I'm gonna do something about all these pallets. I'm just like running over them because they're everywhere. Um, we're gonna do something about this. Let's just uh, move this in for now. I'm not going to start processing it because we've got enough. I'll put it over here though. Got everything planned. We've got the raw product. Um, but I mean, we've got. I'll put it here for now. Now, one thing I've found, uh, another issue with the game, is it, sometimes if you are mid-delivery and you save and exit the game, you will lose whatever it is that's in transit. So one bit of advice I've got is uh, if you, you have an active contract or an active delivery, make sure you've got all your delivery squared away inside your factory so that you don't lose them. So uh, I'm going to put this over here. We've got to do something about all these pallets, but that's another thing I really, I mean, I want to stack these. I want to have multiple pallets, but I can only carry one at a time. So I'm just going to move these over to here for now. Let's 
go get these bottles first though. So about three or four minutes before the next uh, next phase of brewing. So we're gonna order. I'm gonna order a hundred bottles. It's probably not gonna be enough for the entire delivery, but we'll um, we'll make a fair bit. So we need 900 liters to meet our delivery quota, which means that um, it will it will probably be a uh, two batches. So I'll need to brew two separate batches, and that won't that won't happen in this video because uh, to brew a full batch of beer. As you can see, you're looking you're looking at about um, about uh, 20 30 minutes, all up, um, and that's um, that is uh, adding the ingredients, the brewing time, adding the water. Um, I'm I'm not going to worry about this. We've got enough. Let's just pop it over here for now. But I want to show you at the very least the finished product, what you get at the end. But I've got to get rid of all these pallets. They're, they're everywhere. I should be able to crush them up or, or sell them or do something with them. I'm just basically stowing them in the corner of the factory and that pile is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Also, it's a bit kind of random how you pick up the... Like, that's weird just kind of random how you pick up the pallets you have to hit a very specific part of them there we go I mean this isn't ideal but at least um you know at least uh we've cleared the factory out a bit trucks probably there oh and of course I've left that in the way again Smooth brain move. There we go. That's my own fault. I thought it was far enough out of the way. Let's just move it here just to be safe. Right. And that truck will take a while to finish having its heart attack. So let's just um, wait for it to finish. That was my own fault. I should have um, should have cleared the way. Oh, hey, I don't want that. I want the pallet. I'll have to move that by hand, and that's okay. Oh, there we go. Just mash the use key. Oh, I might be able to get to take two. We go. Oh no. Okay. Okay, that, that ought to clean the mess up a bit. And as you can see, it's starting to get quite messy in here. And sometimes you need to have a bit of downtime. Uh, at the end of each day, it's best to do a bit of a cleanup. Something which I clearly have um, failed to do. No, it's not. I'm wanting to do that. That's fine. We'll do this by hand. There we go. Okay. So now things are a bit cleaner. Uh, and our delivery has arrived. Let's go and fuel myself up again. Oh. Grab a fuel tank. We don't want to stall like we did earlier. Check this on. Okay. So again, um, 90, 90 bottles is not going to be enough. I'm probably going to need to make about four or five deliveries. This all, we, we won't be able to complete a beer order. But we, I think we'll be able to start the process. So I'll get you. You'll get to see that how the sausage is made. So you've seen me make the hops via the crusher. You've seen me in start a new recipe in the brewery. Uh, I have uh, filled the brewery, and at the moment that uh, employee hopefully is downstairs doing his job. And is uh, working studiously to fill up the machine. We'll go and help him because it'll make things a bit faster. Oh, there we go. There's one of. Uh, Whoa. Okay. There we go. So that's one of the clipping issues I was talking about. 
Oh dear. Stuck in the fence. Let's see if we can... No? Okay. Oh dear. Okay, let's see if I can... There we go, I can... So, I was trying to reproduce that for you earlier. It's a bit of a random issue where, depending on your location, when you... which way you approach the dolly from, it will sometimes cause it to just fly off in a random direction. Thankfully, I... I've only had one instance where I was unable to resolve it and I had to load a save, but sometimes you will have to load your save. Now, the thing is, if, if this game wasn't so well thought out and so detailed, I would just tell you not to even bother. But uh, And the reviews on Steam are mixed, so to be fair, I know that this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. It's my cup of tea, and I love it, and obviously I've spent so much time playing it. So I'm just, uh, you know, just so you, when you go and play it, you're fully informed. Just be aware, the game is rough around the edges. It has more than its fair share of bugs. But in my opinion, out of all the beer simulators I've played, and I've played a few, and a few of them have been from Playway, this is definitely the most comprehensive one. So I'm willing to forgive uh, a, few, a few errors here and there, because the game's very well thought out and has some good mechanics. But, if you are going to play this game, you're going to have to eat the fact that you're going you're gonna to have to occasionally unload your game. It's going to be a bit, uh, a bit rough. But if you can, if you can, you can deal with that, there is a really fun game here. At least now, I kind of I know I have skipped over some of the early game, but to be honest, the early game is just a lot of just running around, picking items up, moving them yourself. So the you the first time you do this, I had no employees. I had to literally go to the input, put the grain in, go to the output, take the grain out. I did I didn't know that stuff would lock to pallets, so I was literally just um myself going um going to each pallet and putting stuff on the pallet by hand and I felt like a complete idiot when I figured some of these um, mechanics out. You can see though I'm, I'm kind of overcompensated. I've got so much stuff here but it, 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 when you when you run out of a raw product your entire production line grinds to a halt. So I always like to have spare of everything. Right now my next spare is going to be, um, is, oh, there's the hops. So we're going to order some hops once I get all this stuff off the truck. We have enough hops to do this batch, but not enough for the next. So is this guy... Oh yeah, okay. Don't know what's happening, he's kind of on a weird angle, but I'll take it. This ought to be enough bottles to to handle half of the order. Go. Okay. So we've got bottles. We've got hops. Well, actually, I need to order hops. We've got. Uh, Crushed malt, which I've, I've ordered uh, some malt, and we're going to crush some more. Um, I've got uh, yeast. I, I've actually already ordered that, and the yeast is the most e expensive thing. Uh, and I didn't realize that there's different quantities. So yeast, you only use about 5 to 10% of your beer, whereas it's like a good 70, 80% hops and, and, um, and malt. So I ordered like five pallets of uh, of yeast you can see them in the in the basement i just ordered so much yeast and then i was like why is this like three times as expensive as the as the other product um why is that truck not left yet it's empty oh well whatever's Alright, let's go and take this stuff where we need to take it. 
over to the bottling plant um, and we'll probably help our friend. Let's go and drop this off. I think this will be enough. We've got we've got so many bottles here. We'll be able to do a few pallets. And he's got some on the inputs as well. So I think this will this will definitely be enough. I thought about um, I thought about doing an early because I, normally when I do videos I do like a first impressions and a follow up. And the reason I didn't do this is pure selfishness because I what, what I would have had to do was restart the game. And I was having so much fun playing the game, and I'd kind of gotten all these upgrades to my factory, and I just like I don't want to start again. So I thought I'll I'll break my own rule and I'll do like a later game playthrough. We might as well take this downstairs. Whoa! You never have too much of this stuff. Oop. I mean, look, I'm way clear of the ground. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be catching. See, look at that. I'm not like there's nothing for me to catch on. I'm literally stuck. And you, what, sometimes you just you just put the you put on the source, hit the turbo, and just kind of like hit it hard enough, and you'll get past the invisible obstruction. Like the the best way to play this game is to flog the hell out of like drive this thing like you stole it. Yeah, we need more. We need more more hops. Uh, what's he doing? Oh, he's adding the final ingredient. So that's um. Oh yeah, he's he's killed it. Look at that. We better get. Okay. Let's give him a hand. I knew there was a reason I put these up here. Now, how many do we need? Four left. Yeah, let's let's help him out. Oh, I'm out of energy. I've been running around too much. There's other really cool little touches. Like this guy, he'll go off and have a smoke. He'll like take a break every now and then. There we go, finally. So we've got everything into the machine. So we've added the hops, malt, and yeast. And, oh, it's another five minutes of fermenting. So we're going to have to wait for that. And while we do that, I think our next best move is to restock. Because um, we're going to need... I want to get another another delivery going. So let's maybe grab... Try and grab this. I'll try and get some of these pallets. We need, we need a pallet disposal bay. Like, or, or somewhere we can sell these. Because my whole factory is being overrun with these pallets. I'm, I'm obviously ordering more than I can use. I, I bought a few pallets, like two or three, but now I've got so many, I can't um, can't do anything with all of them. There's just so much product. So I'll, I'll have to have a look. Maybe there is a disposal method for pallets. There's actually, let's go test it out. There is a um, there's a oh that truck's stuck. That's not a good thing. Let's see if I can drop this in there. Oh, there we go. You can. Okay, but that's a it's a very very long process to get rid of one pallet. Oh well. So let's um we'll refuel because we've got to wait for the the brewery, and I'm going to order uh, two pallets of hops. And I think some probably, um, oh, let's just get the stuff indoors. I've been, um, I've been ordering so much. I, I think I may have, we may be overdoing it. The only thing is with that truck being stuck, it may prevent future delivery. So at least within this video, and that's why um, I have spare, you can see like why I've, I've uh, got, uh, all this extra material, it's because sometimes the deli deliveries get stuck. 
if a truck uh, gets stuck like that, it will just sit there and you have to load the game. So, yeah, and, uh, and like I said, the, the, there's a lot of issues in the game uh, and a lot of like little bugs. And, and if, you, if you're the sort of person that, that's not really into that sort of thing, if you like your... Uh, your simulation game's a bit more polished, then this one may not be your best choice. But in terms of originality, this game is is leagues ahead of anything else. Like um, the the only other beer sim I really enjoyed was Brew Pub Simulator, and and that was just running a little pub. Like you weren't managing a an entire factory. And I think this is where this thing. This uh, this game kind of excels because you you you're literally driving around managing a whole big factory, you're doing all logistics, you're doing a lot of it yourself. Probably the the driving part of it's overdone, but let's um. So we're gonna wait for the product to complete. Um, yeah, I don't think that that delivery is gonna come, so that that's fine. We don't have a lot of money, so what I'm going to do now is... I think I'm going to stop ordering things, because I just saw my money. I've, uh, I've ordered f uh, almost five grand worth of product, so we we got to get this beer out the door. I'm not going to have the money for the next, so let's maybe stop uh, and wait for our, our shipment. So I'm going to start moving things where they should go. Um, Let's maybe start by getting some of this raw malt. I want to pick up that pallet. So I'm going to cheat. There we go. Now thankfully you don't destroy bags by driving over them. And I am kind of cheating. I'm using the Hoover Maneuver just to drive in and just grab all this stuff. Look at all this. That is a lot of rubbish in there. We're going to do something about that. Nine bags of rubbish. We might do a bit of a clean up. You, you've got a lot of spinning plates in this game. There's always stuff going on. There's always... Uh, you're always going to be cleaning rubbish or moving, moving stuff around. You've got to manage your employees, pay... Speaking of which, I've got to go and pay them soon. Uh, the other, the other cool thing too is that your employees they they will strike if you don't um, you don't pay them promptly. They have oh, there we go. I just have to uh, brute force my way through. Don't recommend doing this in real life, but if it works. Okay, there we go. So I've replaced all of the resources we used. And we've got, um, it, once I get the, the hops, we've got, um, we've got enough for a second batch. Yeah, well, let's, let's just maybe put that there. Beautiful. Okay, so he's going to, he's going to get that second batch going. We need to, we need to go and get that hops. Um, I can't, oh, I just realized, look how low my fuel is. Let's get out of here. Let's head back upstairs. Get as far as I can before I run out of fuel. Beautiful. So that 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 should finish brewing, and then we can head up to the uh, come on, head up to the bottle factory. I'm literally going to run out of fuel on the. I am. I'm going to run out of fuel on the on the ramp. Come on, your bucket of bolts. At least I'll get close to the refueling station, I hope. It, it, it will die a few feet away. Murphy's Law. No, no, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Oh, I'm sipping fumes. It's literally running on fumes. There you go. Fully fueled. Okay. So due to that that truck bug, I cannot order anything else. So what we're going to have to do is make do with what we've got. I was going to go and do a few 
contracts because in addition to selling beer you can go to contracts here and you can actually uh, refine the malt into crushed malt and it's not a lot of money um, it's about 50% in uh, profit there's more profit to be made from from doing the beer but um, for now we're just going to check out the brewery oh it's done beautiful so now the brewery is fully set so we're going to head over to the bottling plant um, I would take more bottles with me but unfortunately I don't have any and you'll get to see the final stage of the of the process um, our boys are doing nothing there I'm just feeling like let's maybe get these boys are getting lazy get in there boys what am I paying you for Okay, this guy's gonna. Oop. I need that pallet. Let me pop this here. And that's a lot of rubbish. Let's maybe just chuck this out of the way. I'll, work, I'll do a clean up later. Generally, after every major brew. So once I've bottled up and I've made a bit of money, then I'll have some downtime. And you can actually get this guy. So what I might do is um, later I'll actually ask him to start cleaning. Because uh, your employees can go around. They'll pick up all the rubbish bags. Uh, not the most um, efficient use of their time, but there's too much rubbish here for me to do myself. So we'll, we'll let him finish this job and I'll get him to do a bit of a cleanup. The process of assigning employees to a station is very onerous too. You have to literally walk up to the station and tell them to work there, which is why, like, if there was a quicker way to reassign people, I would do it. But at the moment, because it takes so long, I've, I've deliberately left them to their task. It's a, I, I lose more money by moving them around than what I do just leaving them where they are and eating a bit of downtime. So let's go and have a look over here. Oh, I think he's doing it. I think he's already... Oh, yes, look at that. You champion. So I thought I'd have to actually set this up, but because this guy's on the machine, he was smart enough. As soon as the brew finished, he's actually, he's on the machine, he's operating it. I'm not going to stop it now because he's doing a stand-up job. Here we go. We've got the, we've got the brewskis. We've got the brewskis on the go. So I'm going to get back into my trusty forklift. Let's go and Now, ironically, I'm, I actually need some pallets out here, so I might have to go in and get some. I'll run in and grab some. It's not like I've got a shortage of them at the moment. Now, you can see over here, I've got uh, I've got tons of stuff already. Um, I do need eight. Uh, eight of these. Oh, we're going to be able to do it. We're going to be able to make a delivery. Oh, you beauty. Yes, son. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. We're going to be able to do it. We're going to make some... We're going to make mad cash. I reckon with uh, with um, a truck full, I'll make it an even six grand out of this. And he's only just started the next batch. I'll make I'll make tons of it. So um, I've got uh, got some other pallets. Oh, he's, he's running low on bottles. Let's go and we'll sort that out for him. Let's um, use our hoover maneuver again. Bickety bam. Just suck up all these beers. Now, I, I know that any beer professional, if he's trying to load a pallets, the, the correct process is to drive at full speed into your beers, because that will get you the beers quicker. Look at that, see? That's how it's done. We do not carefully drive around, you know, watching our corners and handling that glass bottle carefully. The the correct the correct approach is of course crash into a pile of beer at full speed using a forklift and you will be able to collect all of it. See, who said that video games aren't educational? Okay, I reckon I reckon we're good. But I'll get to you'll get to see me load a truck with this and we'll make a ton of money. I need to go and pay these guys or I'm gonna end up end up with an employee revolt on my hands. I've got some shelves here. I don't have the money yet. 
eventually it's this is this will hopefully be automated i'll have an employee uh in here but a, a, you need to make a lot of money to automate these employees are uh you know needless to say very expensive um he's not using this for some reason i don't know why not sure That's okay. Oh, there we go. I, did, I hadn't set a link up. There we go. So what you do is, as I said, there's an input and an output link, and you set those up for each each of these pallets you you pay for a slot and then that basically gives you the ability to set product there and then the employee will in, automatically use that so he's going to go i need oh well there we go there's our second bug oh i can't let's get it oh, can i even get out oh no oh dear well, normally I would load the... I may have to. I may need to load the game. What a way to finish that. I mean, I literally I had everything all set. I can't... I literally can't get off. I'm stuck. <laughs> what a way. I'm going to have to load the game. My apologies. Let's load. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm... I'm I'm hoping that I, I kept my product because I reckon I, I may have lost that. I'm hoping I at least kept my beer. Surely. Surely I got my beer. I mean, from a, from a first impressions perspective, that's probably not a great look. But from a QA perspective, we, we like to call that a home run. I got my truck. It fixed me truck, but... There we go, look at that. So I got my delivery, I didn't lose that at least. Well, I hope the developer finds this useful, because usually the, the guys over at Playway are very, very... Um, they're very passionate about their bug fixing. So sometimes when I've... When I've had some of these bugs and I thought, oh, I don't know how they're going to take it. To their credit, uh, through all of the reviews I've done and all of the bugs I've found, they have always, always been very appreciative of all the bugs we find. So, so yeah, there you go, boys. Um, please fix that because, I mean, despite all of this, I know this may not be everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I enjoy it. It's a really fun game. I did lose that pallet. So you can see why I leave so many spares around because I actually, I mean, that's only about four or $500. It's not too bad. If it had been a pallet of, um, of yeast, I would have been really upset. Okay. I mean, granted, this is a tight spot, but I, I, I wasn't actually colliding with anything. I shouldn't have, sh certainly shouldn't have been flung through the wall like a rag doll. That's for sure. There we go. You got your you got your free QA session from me. No charge. Okay, that that is what I was trying to do. I was just trying to trying to load the the bottles. So there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to what I was trying to do in the first place, which was to load up some beer. I think we got it all. I need some more. I'm going to need to wait. This is a very, very tight spot in here. I'm considering moving the um, moving the equipment. Because we've actually got three of these bottling machines. I'm only using one. And I'm considering removing this one and just using the ones at the back because it's too cramped in here. Uh, I didn't I didn't set this up, by the way. It was like that when I... When I I had it so 
I put one additional one over on the right. Um, I'd like to have a roller door here too. So now we just got to wait for... Oh, no, it did it again! Oh, are you kidding me? Bloody hell. Okay, that's going to have to respawn. But, I mean, at least... This has been a very educational session for bugs. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't happen too often. It seems to be mainly in that bottling plant. Uh, and the problem is that... Oh, look, I can't even get into the thing. Hold up, let me... There we go, just have to be in a specific spot. Oh, look at that. It actually got stuck in the ground. Okay, we're out again. Now, I've... To, to the credit of the developer, I've never had a crash like that. I actually got that on camera off. I've had this thing tip over before and I just had to get off and, and then respawn it. I've never had a crash that bad I couldn't actually do anything without loading the game. So it, it's a rare occurrence. It's just unfortunate or fortunate um, that it happens in this video. So I think this will be a really good tool for the developers is like a QA, um, a QA report. So I hope this, I hope this does help them. And it, it gives you an informed choice too, because I know that this game had mixed reviews. But, and I know that it's not everyone's cup of tea, and it is hard to sell the game with this, you know, with these kind of uh, these kind of issues if you if you're not really into that. But as I said before, it is without any shadow of a doubt for me the most comprehensive beer production game I've ever played so you know take from that what you will the um so what I'm going to do now is just um attach that I'm going to let me just um order a truck Okay, delivery, brewery, ah, here we go, so we're going to order a truck, I'm going to get on here and we're going to wait for the truck to arrive, so this should hopefully arrive in about a minute or so, it's usually a pretty quick process. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So the top of the truck opens up and we just drop this in. And we'll make, um, I'm hoping to make at least uh, seven or eight grand from this because it cost me, I mean, with, the, with, with my losses, it cost me roughly, oh man, is this not going to fit? Let me try and... Try again. There we go. That, that was that was a me problem. I didn't align it correctly. Okay. Well, I, I want to see how much money we make from this. Because this is a lot of beer. This is 1,000... Well, maybe not 1,000 bottles. Or at least... It's at least 500 bottles of beer. Okay. Okay. So I'm hoping I'm hoping to make a fair bit of money from this. And there there is more you can get like different contracts to sell beer. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because all the contracts are on a very strict time limit. And in order to make the beer within that time limit, I'd want to have the materials ready to go. So I, it, you get, I think one of them I saw was like five minutes. So 
in order to brew, like it's going to take longer than five minutes just to do it in the brewery. So in order to do that, I'd need uh, at least four tanks. You need to have four tanks going at the same time. And you want to have all the materials ready to go. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh dear. Okay, let's... um. Yep, that's all full. Beautiful. Let's get out and see what we can sell it for. 6,400. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. So we made about 2,000. That being said, though, I've still got two pallets here and I've got more. So it's probably going to be more money. I'll probably make another two or three thousand dollars. In fact, I've got, um, I think this guy is still bottling. I think I'll have enough for another truck. Oh, yeah, look at that. So I'll probably make about twelve thousand dollars, which is about right because it cost me about six. Um, or maybe a bit, maybe a bit more. But uh, yeah, beer. Uh, also, when when you sell this stuff, you get a, you can get different contracts. Uh, I'm just selling the beer at the market rate at the moment, just because I can't produce it fast enough. But if we just get this here, and just dump this here. I mean, look at this. So, no, nope, it's not gonna. No, nope. that's all right. Well, I hope you found this to be a interesting, you know, an interesting look at beer factory. I just wanted to say in in summary, I know this game is very rough, and I know that some people haven't enjoyed it. And I'm not going to make out this game is the most stable experience out there you know playway make a lot of simulators and this is definitely one of the one of the less uh less finished ones but with that being said the developers are actively working on it they've already fixed several issues in the game uh it's one of the most original games that i've played in terms of simulation games and if you have a personal oh no these is the, the health inspector guess what i've got to do to finish this video <laughs> chuck all this rubbish out or I'm gonna be in trouble but yeah if you if you enjoy if you enjoy beer brewing simulators if you don't mind your games a little bit rough around the edges and you'd like the distinct style that play we have oh there we go yeah oh no <laughs> eight bags of rubbish bye bye reputation wasn't fast enough I mean that was my own fault. I was too busy brewing beer. I didn't um, didn't keep the place clean. There we go. Anyway, um, as I was saying, um, do if you do enjoy beer simulators and you do enjoy simulation games in general, you may want to give this one a try. But just be aware it is very rough around the edges, and if you don't have a high tolerance for that, then I would suggest just waiting for this game. Because they are working on it, and I think in hopefully a month or two, and and hopefully with videos like this, this will give them a bit of a, um, a, bit of a boost to try and hunt down these bugs and fix them. But um, yeah, despite all of its issues, I like it. Um, and it is one of the, one of the most comprehensive uh, factory simulators I've played. Uh, I just hope the developer finds a smarter way to automate the the mundane tasks such as moving pallets around, driving, all that sort of stuff should be able to be automated so that you can get into the process of actually making the beer, which is really the, the most fun part of the game. It's um it's seeing the finished product, it's you know operating the cranes, operating the, the brewery, all the machinery and stuff. That's a, that's a ton of fun. Um, I, I'd like to see more uh, more beer brews being able to experiment with different types and, and um, flavors of beer. And that is something that's in there. I've seen that you can actually add different spices and that I haven't unlocked it yet, um, to be fair. So that's something we can do in a future episode. But I'm going to have to leave it here. We've been playing for an hour. Hopefully you enjoyed this first look at Beer Simulator. Uh, please give me an excuse to play some more of this. Uh, if you like it, leave me a like, leave me a subscribe in the comments. Uh, go and check this one out if you don't mind a game that, you know, it's unique, but it has a couple of rough edges. I've certainly enjoyed it, and I'll certainly keep playing it, and I hope you do give it a try. Until next time, Skill Incarnate, out.